Hey everyone, welcome back to Shade Review. In today's video, we are reviewing the Dylan Optics Drake sunglasses. But first off, in today's video, sponsor our own website, shadereviewstore.com, the absolute best place to buy designer sunglasses, just like these up to 80% off the original MSRP. Again, the website there is shadereviewstore.com. Check it out. Let's go ahead and pop these sunglasses on face and talk about the dimensions. These have 61 millimeter lenses in a 15 millimeter bridge. And probably the most striking aspect of these frames, of course, is the NIR lenses. Now, NIR stands for non-image reflecting lenses, and they're going to have this really cool looking satin finish to them, which are very unique, and I've never seen any other sunglass brand uh, have lenses quite like these. Typically, lenses with bright colors, like these bright blue, are going to have a mirror on them, and they're going to reflect uh, the outside world on the lenses, which can definitely be a really cool look. However, with these, if they're satin finish, it, it, they're not gonna reflect uh, light the same way. So as you can see, it's still reflecting light, but it's dispersing it and there's no mirror and you can't see anything through the lens at all, which is definitely a really, really cool and interesting look. And like I said, I've never seen any other lens uh, with this technology uh, before. Now this isn't super new. Uh, I believe Dylan Optics invented this over 10 years ago, but of course this is new to me because I've never reviewed a pair of these frames before, or owned a pair of these frames before. Now the base material of these lenses is a CR39 lens and they're going to block 100% of harmful UVA and UV rays, which is extremely important for your health to block those rays. And then they also have a very nice oleophobic coating on the back side and on the front side as well, which makes cleaning them very, very easily. You could basically clean this with a t-shirt and it's gonna remove all the dirt and oils right off of it very nicely. I do like that a lot. And Dylan also says that these lenses are impact resistant as well. Now a little bit more information about the NIR lens technology. It is a polarized filter, a reflector uh, that reduces internal reflections within the lens, allowing for noticeably sharper clarity while at the same time protecting the lens from scratching or exposure to harmful environmental elements. Uh, so that's basically what Dylan says about these lenses. Now, as as far as the actual eyeball test goes, these are very nice lenses, but they're nothing too crazy or extraordinary. They are very similar to kind of a standard polarized lens. Uh, they definitely look absolutely incredible. So as far as the look goes, yes, there's definitely some crazy amount of technology going in here that nobody else has access to or has done before to my knowledge. And that is definitely really cool. But as far as how this translates into the actual optical clarity, it's not anything too crazy. They're just very good optics. Now, one thing to note with the optical clarity of these frames is the anti-reflective coating that's built into the NIR lens. I don't know if you can see that here, but the matte just really just diffuses any sort of reflection whatsoever on the backside of the lens at all, which is really, really impressive. I really do like that a lot. Now these Drake frames do have an eight base curve to them. So there's really not gonna be a lot of sunlight coming and bouncing off the lens at an angle anyway. So here up top, you can see there really is not a big gap that sunlight in unprotected at all. Maybe right here is a little bit. And then here on the sides again, very, very small gap to let sunlight in unprotected. So it's not as necessary with a pair that has an eight base curve to them, but they definitely have some other frames that have a uh, lower base curves to them. And those frames would be ideal candidates for a lens like these. And now as far as weight goes, these frames are gonna be pretty heavy coming in at 39 grams, even though they are made out of a CR39, you know, polymer lens, they're still gonna definitely have some really, you know, heavy weight to them. And that's probably just because they are just a thick pair of frames here. And uh, they do have spring hinges, which feel really good when opening and closing them. And they're gonna bend out to basically anybody's face and give a custom fit to the face, which is really nice. And they also do have fully adjustable nose rests here as well. Now, as far as build quality goes, my main complaint here is the gap between the acetate uh, ear rest and the frame. There's definitely a pretty big gap that I can actually fit my fingernail in. Uh, and that's definitely not acceptable. All they would have to do, and all I probably have to do, is just heat this up and then push it in a little bit more. But it's like that on both these, so it's almost like they meant to do it, but I don't like the look of that at all. Now, as 
far as uh, logoing goes. There aren't any gaudy logos like that whatsoever on the front of the lens, which is really nice, especially with these unique lenses. But if we take a look here at the outside temples, it does say Dylan on them, uh, which is pretty cool. And it's not too bold or loud, and it just looks pretty decent in my opinion. Now these frames are made in Japan. They say here in the inner right, you rest the frames say made in Japan, and they also say Drake and I are polarized. And I think that's about it for the frames. The welds do look pretty nice, but there's nothing too crazy going on with these frames that would make them justify the high price tag of $280. They don't feel like $280 sunglasses. Oh, with the spring hinges here, they're practical, but you know, they're, um, they're just spring hinges and the nose rests are just basic nose rests, there aren't any etching on them whatsoever. And these frames don't seem like they're a particularly really hard frame to make at all. Basically what we're paying for here is the NIR lens if you're buying a pair of these sunglasses. And again, the optical clarity of these is really good. And if you're looking for something that's really unique and really bold in the lens category, this is what you're looking for. This is extremely unique, really cool looking. They do make them in four other lens colors as well. And uh, I really do like the look of these frames uh, with these matte lenses. They're just really, really cool. And uh, But as far as the actual frame quality goes, I think that's where they still have some uh, work to do as far as actually making the build quality better on these. They're not bad, they're not bad at all. There's just nothing on here that would justify the higher price tag, again, other than the lens. But um, overall, a very decent pair of sunglasses. And if you're interested in buying a pair, you can pick these up for $280, again, on their website. So I'll leave a link description down below directly to the website if you're interested in that. But yeah, overall, definitely interesting. What do you guys think about these frames? Do you love them? Do you hate them? What do you think about the lens? Do you like the look? I know some people don't like the look at all. And, and I get that, they're definitely uh, somewhat unique. Personally, I I do like the look, it's very unique, uh, but it's, uh, it's, I would say it's probably a little bit intimidating. Like if you're gonna wear these to a wedding or something like that, they're just a little bit too bold, a little bit too intimidating uh, for my tastes. And again, nobody can see the eyes as well when you have these on, which again can be a pro, but also a con as well. But yeah, overall, good pair of sunglasses and uh, I do like them a lot. That's all I got for you in this video. If you enjoyed it, make sure to give me a big thumbs up down below. And of course, make sure to hit the subscribe button and then you'll be notified every single time I upload a brand new video just like this one to our YouTube channel. Again, thank you all so much for watching and I'll catch you all in the next one.